Hi everybody, Tom Bruns down on the Mississippi River and we're, we're uh, trolling lead core today using the kicker and troll a brake line. I want to talk a little bit about rod holders. Most people think a rod holder is a rod holder and it's not important other than it needs to hold the rod up, but there's a lot more to it than that a lot of times. Uh, these are cannon rod holders. I've got three of them here. I've got one on the long shank and one on the short shank and this is a single axis. This particular rod holder will work real well. You can adjust it this way to uh, fish with boards where your rods go up and the lines go way out. But here what we're talking about is only lead core. And if you have a, a, a boat with a rail on it, a handrail like this, that's great because that works That works really super good. And what you need to do is to, most people will put these on, they put them on too tight. And there's a reason not to put them on so tight. Uh, when you're pulling lead, and I've got a short rod here, and I've got a long rod up here. And I put the long rod up higher, and the short one down lower, and so this separates the lines a little bit. They're less likely to get tangled by doing that. But you don't want to tighten these up too much in the rail. The reason being is that if you hold, keep them flat, then you have too much line that's not in the water. You need to be able to move them down and put the rod tip closer to the water, so there's less line has to go out. That way the lead will sink faster and you don't need so much line to get your lures down. The other thing is with them, when you don't put them on tight, and this is important, is I'm trolling along and maybe I run over a rock pile and the depth comes up fast and I, I can't change the, the course of the boat quick enough and I say I'm going to run into trouble with snakes or a rock pile, a brush pile or something like that. I just simply reach over put the rod way up in the air, put them both up in the air, and as soon as, that'll, that'll make the lure run up five, six feet, just like that. And as soon as I go over the snake, I go right back down, and push them right back down to where I was, and I didn't have, I didn't have to change anything on the line. I didn't have to reel in, I didn't have to let line out afterwards. I just watch it, and just gauge it so you can just pull it right up over the snakes and back down. So there's more to rod holders than just rod holders. And if you're a lead core fisherman, the good rod holders are great, and you need to be able to move them like this so that you can adjust them. So keep that in mind when you're trolling lead next time, and you'll find that it works a whole lot easier for you, and you're not cranking in and letting my nose. Give it a shot.